What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about how to achieve a spot-free finish using deionized water for your car wash setup. Um, basically, in this video, I'm just gonna be showing you exactly my exact setup, what I do to get my deionized water. And in future videos, we're gonna be talking about some other stuff on how to achieve a spot-free finish without DI water um, or uh, other kind of inexpensive solutions to try and clear up your water. Now, what is deionized water? Well, it is water that has been deionized. Um, I don't know the process. It, basically, there's two different types of filtration that the system goes through. So I can't remember the exact names. I'll put them up here. Um, obviously, I'm gonna do some research for you guys online and kind of put it up here. I've already gone through it all, but um, just so you have a visual. But basically, what my system is, is a mixed bed. So it takes those two different types of filtration compounds, and it obviously, it's a mixed bed, and it comes through, you, you run it from a tap, runs into my filter, goes through the filter, cleans it all up, makes it absolutely perfect. It comes out completely clean and ready to go, so I'm not gonna get any spots. Now, a lot of you may be wondering, like, well, can't I just use soft water, the soft water setup that I have in my house? And the answer is absolutely not. Now, the soft water might help, um, but basically with soft water, it softens the water, but it doesn't remove all of the total dissolved solids, TDS. TDS is what we really need to look at when we're looking at um, spot-free water. And again, with the spot-free system, there's different types of meters, and one will show it's completely soft, but if you throw a TDS meter in there, it's gonna show a high number. And with that, that's where we're gonna be justifying the price and kind of comparing different situations because the total dissolved solids that it's coming out of your house is gonna determine how long any filtration system is going to last before you need to replace it. All right, so let's go up to the, by the roll-up door in my shop. That's where I have my tank. So let's go ahead and jump over there. I'll kind of give you guys a brief over, overview of my setup and why I have it. Now let's head over there. I apologize, my shop is disgusting right now, let me spin you guys around. It is just, I have got my boat back here that I'm selling, I've got uh, just junk everywhere. I've got the Sequoia over here that I'm wrapping currently. My Fairlane is finally getting its new interior, so there's interior pieces all over the place. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a mess. All right guys, so we're at the front. Here is my setup, this is my deionized water filter tank. Uh, basically what it does is, Got our water hose here. I'll just hook it up to the spigot that's right in front of my shop here. That water, I'll turn the water on. It goes through the hose and into the top of the water tank right here. Then it runs through, all the water runs through the chambers inside of this thing and it comes out. I have a little sensor up top here. I don't know if you can tell right now, but it is green. And basically what that means is that this is water coming out is at zero uh, parts per million of total dissolved solids. It means it's completely spot free. Once this hits, I can't remember, I think about two parts per million or maybe even one, it turns red uh, and it means that it's time to change out the tank. So that's what I do. Now I do have a little splitter coming out here. One line running into a pressure washer, the other line running out to my hose reel. Again, sorry for the mess, that's all vehicle wrap stuff. Um, but. Uh, and then that's what I use to fill up my, my trucks. Okay guys, so what I have here is the total dissolved solids parts per million meter. This will tell me how many parts per million of, con of contamination I have in my water. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take a little bucket here. I'm gonna fill up straight from the spigot from the wall and uh, show you guys just how dirty the water is that comes out of the tap of my shop. Alrighty, so here we go. I'm just gonna turn the sensor on. All right, registering zero parts per million. Pick this up here and stick it in. Try and see so you guys can see on here. I don't know if you can see that or not. Currently registering at 400 and, yeah, basically 404 parts per million. That's actually kind of a clean day. Sometimes I've had it where it was at 450 parts per million. So 404, uh, pretty clean for my tap. However, you do not want to use that on your car without being very, very cautious because you can definitely get water spots from that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hook up my water filter system and I will show you guys the total dissolved solids after that. Here we go. Let's go ahead and get the sensor back to zero. Okay. Pick up the water and here we go. Well, it did register at one part per million, but now it's back to zero. 
So it's just kind of working its way out, but zero parts per million. Completely clean water, completely spot free. I can rinse a car down and wash it, rinse it with this and completely leave it to air dry and it won't water spot. Now the system I use right here is from a company called PureTech and it is a rental system, which I really, really like. So basically what it is, I can't remember, you do have to do a deposit of like 250 bucks or something like that. And then there's a monthly charge of $15 a month. Um, and I apologize if these numbers are wrong. That's what it's been for me. Um, they may have updated them, but it's right around these numbers, 15 bucks a month. And then every time this little guy turns red, I just go online, I enter my account number and they, the next day, uh, someone comes out and delivers a new tank and takes this one away. And each time a tank gets replaced, it is 60 bucks, 65 bucks, I think, I believe. Now, how much water, how much deionized spot-free water am I getting out of this? Well, I'll tell you, they basically last me about a month, um, but I'm constantly, I never let my tanks get all the way down. So, uh, you know, in my mobile units, like if I go out for a day and half of it's used, I'll fill it up right away just in case, because I don't know if I'm out at a job and working and I, I may get calls for other jobs during the day while I'm out and I don't want to be like, I can't come do it because I don't have enough water. So I always keep my water tanks topped off and I would say I get between probably 1200 to 1500 gallons out of this tank. Now again guys, I don't, because the, my units are mobile and I'm filling up my tank purely with deionized spot free water, right? So I'm using a deionized water process throughout everything, my initial rinse, when I'm foaming, when I'm, when I'm doing my contact wash, and when I'm rinsing. Now a lot of people say you can just do it when you're rinsing, and that's true, and you're gonna save a lot on your deionized water setup, because you're gonna be able to get more out of it because you're not using it for everything. However, in my opinion, if you're working like me, we work mobily and it's a hot day and you go for your initial rinse and I'm sure you guys have experienced it. Sometimes that stuff wants to dry really, really quickly. The, the key to not getting water spots, especially with unfiltered water, um, is to keep the car wet. Now, that's not always easy to do, right? So having this kind of a system is, for, for me as a professional, it's essential. You have to have it. All right, now let's go ahead and talk about other solutions because I, over the years of being on YouTube, a lot of people have asked me about this tank. I've told them about it and a lot of people can't get it. I know this company is local to the West Coast. Um, they cover a lot of the West Coast, but not other states. I think they might go into Arizona or something, but obviously there's a lot more states than just these two. So what are your options, guys? Well, here is one of them right here. This is from Adams and this is the exact same thing. This is a dual, uh, a mixed bed. Uh, canister just like this one obviously a whole lot smaller but this thing is great it comes with this little head unit it comes with attachments so you can actually bypass so for those of you that want to wash your car using regular water and then just do their final rinse using the spot free water this is going to allow you to do that comes in a whole kit now that kit is about 399 bucks i have some notes here so i'm just going to uh, go off of them for you the canister itself is 22 inches high by nine and a half inches in diameter um, and they say they state a 1120 gallons at 100 parts per million of water filtering through. So obviously, I guess it, it, to me, it makes sense if you just double that number to 200 parts per million, it's gonna drop you down to 560. If you're running like me at 400 parts per million, it's gonna drop you down to 280, I believe. So keep that in mind. You're gonna to wanna to calculate the parts per million uh, filtration ratio to how much your actual uh, parts per million is coming out of your water. So step one for you guys on how to achieve this and how to get the best idea is get yourself a little meter like this. So you can have an idea of what's coming out of your, your, uh, your tap and you'll know about how much this, all this is going to cost you. If you don't have this, you're going to be going into it blind. Who knows? You may buy a tank and blow through it really fast. And you're going to be like, that was a waste of money. Um, so you want to make sure that you get a system that's going to work for you. And having this is going to help you uh, solve that and this is like 10 bucks. So I'll have this link down in the description for you guys along with all these different uh, tank systems. The Adams is available on Amazon. When I bought this thing, I bought it on Adams's website and they actually had a 20% off deal going and it worked on this tank. Um, so that was really cool. However, I've checked that recently and it does not work for the tank, at least the last time I checked. So check it out, but I don't think it does. So, um, but Again, it is available on Amazon. I'll have it linked down below. Um, now, just so you guys can see right here, let me go ahead and lift this up. Here it is, the Atom system, right? Right on the back here. I'm sorry, Adams, for showing this. If you guys hate me, I apologize. But it says on the go, 
with a little registered trademark logo, portable water deionizer. So what did I do? I went online and looked up on the go and they have a bunch of systems available to purchase on Amazon. Now the first system is smaller. It's the same height as this one, but it's a narrower diameter. It's only 6.75 inches diameter versus the nine and a half inches. With that one, that's the same thing. It's a mixed bed system. I can't remember exactly. I think it was 245 bucks for that tank. So much more cons, uh, cost effective for you guys more uh, if you're not looking to spend a ton of money right off the bat. 245 is easier to swallow than 400. Um, I get it's still a lot of money, but um, I just want to give you guys options here. Um, so basically with that one, they do rate it at 280 gallons um, at 200 parts per million. So again, the on the go system, the single tank system that's narrower than this one from Adams um, is you're gonna get 280 gallons at 200 parts per million versus the Adams is gonna get 560. So double the capacity is what they're saying. And uh, at, old, yeah, it's, it's not twice as much. So the Adams would be a better solution there. Plus with the Adams, you do get all the little connectors for the bypass and all that kind of stuff. This on the go one that I'm talking about now does not come with that. I'm, sh it's, I'm sure it's not hard to, to to uh, rig that yourself, but it's nice with the atoms that all comes uh, all ready to go. Okay, so a third option for you guys. We did, we talked about, well, four, what is that? Let's see here. We got the rental system, if you can find that. Um, we've got the atoms, we've got the on the go single tank, and then we've got the on the go double tank. Now I talked about having, uh, how these use a mixed bed. There's two different types of material that are in there. And there's another system from on the go. It's a two tank setup. Again, smaller tanks. They're gonna be that 22 by nine and a half, I believe. Um, but they use one tank has one material in it. The other tank has the other. And it's cation or cation and anion or whatever. I don't know how to pronounce those, but that system runs 395 bucks and you're gonna be getting 630 gallons of water at 200 parts per million. So when you look at that uh, versus the 560 from the Adams, that on the go system, the two tank system would be a better option based off of what they're saying on their side, off of their statistics. Now, obviously another option for you guys that's very, very popular within the detailing industry is the CR spotless uh, system. Now that's a two tank system as well, but I believe both of them are just mixed bed systems. Um, so easy enough to refill. And with all these systems, you can buy refills, but they're not cheap either. So um, that's why I'm trying to just give you guys a bunch of different options. Now with the CR spotless machine uh, uh, system, the two tank system, the one on wheels runs about 409 bucks. Uh, and they state, now CR Spotless is really cool. If you go onto their website, on the top, you'll see a little section that says learn, and then you can see how many washes you're gonna get. And it's really cool. So once you have that little TDS meter, you can go in and really get a good idea of exactly what, it's gonna, what kind of performance you're gonna get out of those tanks. Because it says, what's, your P, the, what's the PPM um, of your water? Uh, what system are you using? And it gives you an estimate of exa exactly right off the bat. So for me, at 400, for the two tank system at 400 parts per million, they're, they're estimating I'm gonna get 190 gallons out of it. So again, if we're looking at 200 parts per million to be equal across the board, then we're gonna be getting 380 gallons um, of water. So that's actually the least, uh, when we're looking at the $400 mark, we have the Adams that's getting 560 at 200 PPM. We have the two tank system from on the go that you're getting 630 gallons at 200 PPM for basically those that are basically the same price, 399, 395. And then the CR Spotless at 409 is only getting 380 at 200 parts per million. So um, really, really important there, guys. I think that's a really cool thing to look at because I know within the detailing industry, the CR Spotless is the most well-known uh, for like the at-home system. So these other options may be more beneficial and more cost cost effective. All right, guys, now you may be wondering, how can I supercharge my little deionized water tank and get more out of it? Well, there is a way and it's a more cost effective way and that is to get a reverse osmosis system. I don't have one, I just run the tanks, um, but I know my, le my local uh, detail shops that provide spot free water, you can actually go and buy water from them and fill up. Typically what they do is they have water coming in from a reverse osmosis system, building up in a big tank, and then that tank runs into a little deionized system like this, and it runs out to the front and people can fill up their water. Now the reverse osmosis system, usually, uh, I haven't done a ton of research on these, but from what I've seen, the industrial grade ones are pretty expensive, but they produce a 
ton of water, a lot of, you know, the cost per gallon is cheaper than the, than the deionized would be. So you may be thinking, well, why do I need a deionized tank then? Why don't I just go with a reverse osmosis? Well, reverse osmosis does a fantastic job. It'll take my 400 part per million water and reduce it down to 50 parts per million or even less, maybe, maybe 20 parts per million. Well, 20 parts per million is still, there's still total dissolved solids in there. Imagine it going on liquid and dissolved and then drying hard again, and you're gonna get water spots even if it's that low of a number. But the benefit of that reverse osmosis system coming into it before it goes to the deionized tank is you're, redu you're using that re reverse osmosis system to do all the heavy lifting, bringing that water down, removing so many of the total dissolved solids, and then leaving it pretty clean. Now you're gonna, instead of me operating at 400 parts per million and getting about 1,000 gallons or whatever out of that thing, um, I'm gonna be taking it down to say 20 parts per million. And now 20 parts per million is gonna be going through my, my deionized tank. And that's gonna give me, I don't know, I don't know what the math is in my head right now, but 10,000 gallons, I don't know, it's a ton of water. So think about that and maybe a good option if you're like me and wanna just simplify and keep it simple, um, just go with the DI tank. But for all of you that are serious about this and want to set up an in-home system that's going to be fueling yourself, like mine's on a rental system, so it makes sense to do it this way. But if you're at home and you're setting up a whole system, look at a reverse osmosis system going into a DI system, and that's going to be your best, best, most cost-effective way to do it. So I hope that helps you guys. Please make sure to like the video. Make sure you're subscribed. Turn on that notification bell. Please make sure you're subscribed though because I do have more videos coming up talking about spot-free car washes. We're gonna be trying out a couple different things without a DI system. So stay tuned for that guys. Thanks so much, I appreciate all of you and we'll see you on the next one.